everyone and welcome to Blues TV. I hope you all had a wonderful bank holiday weekend. Uh, Lewis did, you went to Notting Hill Carnival, didn't you? Yeah, I'm still feeling that. that <laughs> too much, in it. Yeah, but I don't think I'm ever going to go out again. I just got too drunk and it was just not acceptable. Yeah, at least the vibe was good this year. Yeah, so that. that's, yeah, well, it's very hot, wasn't it? Very hot day. Mm. Anyway, uh, back, back, back to work, back in business. And we have a game against Sheffield United at the weekend. However, um, the preview's not going to go out till later this week, so we thought we would discuss other things that are going on because, you know, we're meant to keep you up to date with all the news. And that is whether or not Jorginho is winning fans over under Frank Lampard. Now, I'll start it off because apparently <laughs> you fans in the comments seem to think I hate Jorginho. Now, I think if you look back to last season, in most of the videos, I'm, I'm, I'm backing him. I'm saying how we've longed for somebody to be next to Kante that, you know, really works alongside him really well. And, you know, because we, we tried it with quite a few players, didn't yeah. we? Um, and, it, and, you know, we tried it with Fabregas, we tried it with Matic. Not, neither, neither really worked properly. Yeah. And then we ended up, you know, getting Jorginho, who I thought was a fantastic player. And I actually, at times, I actually defended him when other fans were um, not mocking him, but just being very critical. Mm. Um, I only came out and said against the United game that I actually didn't think he had a great game. That's my personal opinion, you know. Um, and Allow you for that because everyone else did. Right, everyone yeah. So, so you know, yeah. So let's not be too harsh here. And, and um, at the end of the day, you know, a player can be fantastic for a 20 games and on his 21st he could not put in a good performance and I would still have to say that he didn't have a good game today, you know? You've got to be honest, that, isn't it? Yeah, it doesn't mean that I don't don't rate him. Of course not. Um, if Sammy can find some clips, he'll shove them in, in here of me bag, I mean, me, me bigging up Jorginho. I'm just so yeah, happy we finally change. found a player in Jorginho that works alongside Kante. Yeah. It's, it's, it's been a long, like a huge year, couple years now yeah. that we've not been able to read. Nobody's been a fan of Fabregas there. Mm -hmm. um, it's just nothing's really worked out, has it? And no. now this is finally coming together. No, I, I, it's, it's, it's true. So I have absolutely no problem with him. I just want the whole system to work. And I, I think we just all have to understand that with the injuries we've got and with Frank still finding out, you know, who's going to be his main, you know, starting 11 until this sort of transfer ban can, can figure itself out, that um, we're going to have a lot of these these conversations yeah. and these, these games are going to be really tough and it's not going to be perfect football all the way through. So we are going to have to be critical, but also give praise when it's due. So what did you think of him against Norwich? Norwich I thought was amazing I think bar Manchester United I thought it was alright for United but he won at his level yeah. right? so, I, so I kind of understand that but for Norwich I thought it was brilliant I thought it was very instrumental in our play going forward I think last season it was a case of the way Sari plays is Sari's very stuck in his ways and he wants his one system to work and when you haven't got the right players for that system, your system becomes very predictable. And that's why it was easy for teams to shut us out because they shot Jorginho and they shot the yeah. rest of our attack out. Yeah. But if you look back at last season, I could kind of see some of the criticism he was getting. I didn't see a lot of it. I could criticize, I could see some of it because I did think around December, January, she was very weak on the ball. He was getting dispossessed very easily. But I also think when it comes to Jorginho, he's that type of player that he... He's one of them players who's only good if the rest of the team's good around him. And if the team isn't feeding up the chance that he makes, he's he's going to suffer as a result. Like, for example, you've, you've probably seen all of them YouTube videos going around of Jorginho creating bare chances and it going to Higuain or Ross Barkley or Willian or Pedro and Morata and it just going wide or being saved. It's stuff like that. And I think with Jorginho, he's the type of player, he will always keep feeding you those chances, but... You need to get those players taking those chances. That's been a big problem for us over the last couple of years. Yeah, for sure. Um, I think it was really important that we got the win mm. against Norwich at the weekend. I mean, we'll just debrief on that as well while we're sort of in this discussion. Yeah, you know, I think it was it was vital that we won that game. Mm. I think Norwich have improved um, over the over the last few years for sure. Um, what do I think that? I, th I thought we were going to win, you know, I definitely thought we were going to win, but I did think we were going to concede a couple of goals. Norwich um, were going to come for us, isn't it? Yeah, of course, and, and I think they, they probably thought they had, you know, quite a good chance. That would have mm. given them a bit of a confidence boost because they know we're sort of in, you know, a bit of limbo at the moment. But I think I think as each game's gone on, we've, we've, we've improved. Yeah. I think that's fair to say. I think the Leicester game, you could tell. I think had we not actually have had to travel all that way to Turkey and whatever. I think maybe we would have we would have ended up getting the win, but towards the end I said they it's looked like so Liverpool played on the Friday and we played on the fucking Sunday, that's why. Exactly. So I think um I think all being said, I think mm. we've we have improved each game. I think players have improved each yeah. game. I think there's obviously a lot of individual mistakes that can be worked on and I'm sure Frank knows that. But we know it's coming. But we yeah, of course, coming. of course. But I think you know the whole point of this season is is to to get wins out of games that are mm. really difficult. You know, whether we win 
four three or three two, you know, whatever it yeah. is, whatever we have to do to get that win. And if I think if fans think we're going to be winning games three four nil, then unfortunately I don't think that's Not going to yet. be the way this season. No, no, no. Um, but in terms of Jorginho, if I have been harsh, I'm incredibly sorry about that. Um, but I, um, I really, I think I've been, I think I've been all right to be fair. And I think, I think the points I've Never raised, that bad. yeah, you know, I've and, seen worse. I've seen way worse. Yeah, and I think the points that I've raised, if I'm being honest, are points that you know a lot of. I have to listen to the fans, and I only react to what I'm tweeted or to what I listen to when I interview fans um, at the weekends, especially the home games. So you take into consideration all of that and you try to put something together. I think maybe someone's fans watching at home, it might come across differently to how it does in the stadium. And if, yeah, you know, yeah, you no, can miss I've things. Yeah, I've got that vibe a lot. It's weird because, I don't know, because I'm, I'm agreeing with you. I can't really go into much depth on it because it don't make sense. But I read the game a lot more differently when I'm in the ground compared yeah. to if I'm watching it on TV. I think also when you're when you're in the stadium, you know, you, you have a job to like sort of cheer the, cheer the team on. Just more focused. Yeah, of course. So, so, you, so, you, so you don't, you, don't, you might miss the technicality of some yeah. things, you know, especially when you're watching at home, you've got, you know, widescreen TV and you can see things from a different a different angle. Um, but I don't, I've never called for Jorginho to be out of the team at all. I mean, I, I think... I don't remember you saying that. No, no, definitely not. And um, I think our midfield is, we revolve our midfield around Kante. Much like when Eden Hazard was here, we revolve around him. And I just want people to know that, you know, it's, 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 I want fans to know that it's, for me, it's whoever works best with Kante. Mm. So if if we've if Jorginho started putting in a few bad performances, I would want somebody to come in and replace him. And Frank Lampard has made it clear that he wants to play players based on merit, hasn't he? So yeah. that's the most important thing. No, no, no. I complete. That's the one thing I agree with you because, regardless of what we say about the midfield, it does need to be based around the goal of Kante because now by far and away he's the best player in our squad. Jorginho, Kovacic, the fact that they're that good together just means we've got a great base around the midfield. And to be honest, the midfield is the, by far and away is the strongest part of our team. Yeah. But the focus does have to be on N'Golo Kante because let's be real, right now he's probably the last real world-class player that we do have. So you, do you think that Frank Lampard has won the fans over at Jorginho? Oh, he, he won the... Oh, no. He won the, I thought you were talking about did he win the fans over in general. Yeah, no, no, no. With Jorginho... He's been winning the fans over for the whole year, in fact. I remember February and March when we were playing Europa League games and Jorginho was getting booed by the fans when he was getting subbed yeah, on. And he still order. pulled out 7 out of 10 performances. Yeah. But since then, he's got a lot stronger on the ball. He's got a lot quicker. He's reading the game faster. He's quicker to release the ball. And now, you're starting to see him shine a lot more. He's having much more of an impact in games. If you compare the way he plays now to the way he played in January and December... Still looks like a completely different player. Yeah, and he I think continues to improve. Yeah, I think fans only got an, got a little bit frustrated at the time with Jorginho because I think he was losing the ball quite a lot. Yeah, um, that was happening. Yeah. yeah, and um, it has improved. You know, mm. don't get me wrong. You know, one bad game also doesn't define you as a player. Yeah. You, try, you have to try and look at things over you know a, a certain amount of time. And I think for me, if Frank Lampard wants him in the team, I think for, for me, if he wanted to get rid of any of the original players. He would have done that. I mean, we've seen David Luiz is gone because he knew he wasn't yeah. going to get, you know, a, 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 a strong chance. Of other players left. So, <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> who are you able to do I had then? to have one big. Um, yeah, so, well, yeah, he won that great. That's, yeah, that's what Salah said to him as he, he went past him again. Agent, um, Agent Luiz, <laughs> as we call it. Yeah, new agent. Anyway, yeah, let's, 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 not, let's not go into that. It all, it all get a bit hostile around here. Um, what was I even saying? I can't even remember what I was saying now. But, but well, the bottom line course. is, bottom line is, if Frank Lampard wanted to, to you know, not include him in the side, I think he probably would have done that at the start of the season. Yeah. Um, and he clearly sees, you know, some potential in him, and, and, and he clearly sees him part of the system. Yeah, quality so, strong. Out of ten, what would you give him so far this season? This season, three. That's a tough one. Mm, it's been three. We games. are only three games in. I know, but. Let's go for I'll go for a seven because I mean Leicester. I felt like Leicester focused on trying to shut him down to shut the rest of the team down. But other than that, he's had a great start to the season, so seven's fair. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll be happy with that. Uh, let us know what you think about Jorginho in the comments below. I know this can be a slightly divided opinion sometimes, especially what well, it was definitely last season. Um, but I do think a lot of fans have have started to come around mm. recently. So comment below, and of course, if you like this video, click the subscribe button. That's very important, and uh, we will see you all in the next video. I am Sophie Rose and I'm Lewis Gabriel Selassie and we are your new presenters for Blues TV for the upcoming season. So make sure you click the subscribe button and keep 